Hey, this is Carl J. Betacruz, first year nursing student. So I'll be doing a cardiovascular system assessment for this video. So cardiovascular system is a system in our bodies that supplies oxygen and nutrients which are needed to do our daily activities. So doing a cardiovascular system assessment will help us to identify factors that could affect our cardiovascular health, such as high blood cholesterol, hypertension, diabetes, and some other stuff that's both common and uncommon. So the first thing that we need to do is to review our client's medical records to determine the scope of assessment and prepare the necessary materials prior to meeting the client. Alright, so for this assessment, we'll be needing a rectangular card and a ruler to measure our jugular venous pressure. Next is our pen light as a tangential light source. And lastly, our stethoscope to oscillate heart sounds. Alright, so before having contact with our client, let us perform hand washing first to prevent cross-contamination. Okay, so good day, my name is Carl and I'll be your student nurse for today's assessment. You will be doing cardiovascular system assessment, but before that, may I ask your full name? Okay, so when is your birthday? Okay, so how old are you? Today, years old. So, how do you want me to call you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ms. Cindy, I'll be with you for your cardiovascular system assessment, and with that, I'll be touching some parts of your body. I'll be palpating for your neck, your peripheral um, limbs, your your arms, and your legs, and also palpating for your heart sounds. Will that be fine with you? Okay, so do you have any questions or clarifications before we start the assessment? No. Okay, so rest assured that this information will be confidential between me and the attending physician that I will be referring to, okay? So before that, um, how are you feeling today? I'm fine. Okay, so have you experienced any shortness of breath? Yeah. Okay. So any dizziness? Headaches? So have you had any history of heart diseases? No. Okay, so how about anyone from your family? Yeah. Okay, so do you smoke? All right. All right, so I'll be at your right side so that I'll be closer to the right side of your neck and I'll need you to be reclined around 30 degrees to promote normal breathing during the procedure. All right, so I'll be shining my pen light to check for your neck and can you tilt your head to the towards the left? Okay. Tilt your head towards me. Alright, so, all right, so right external jugular vein is flat and without distension. And if ever that I have found any distension, I will have to locate the highest visible point of the distension of the internal jugular vein. And if needed, I can also lower and raise the bed to help with the observation of the distension. Alright, so this time I'll be measuring your jugular venous pressure by measuring the sternal angle or the right angle using this ruler and this rectangular cord. All right. Okay. Okay, so this time I'll be taking this of your hand towards the left. I'll be completing for your cord and artery. Okay. All right, so good. Now I'll be also looking for your carotid artery using the belt of my stethoscope so that I can hear the low pitched sounds. Okay, can you touch your head to open? Okay, so I'm about to hear this. Um, can you inhale and exhale? Then exhale, and then hold your breath for a while. Okay. Okay, so you can inhale now. Then do it on the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Then hold it for a while. Okay, so you can relax now. So I haven't found any carotid bullet bilaterally on your carotid arteries. Alright, so for the next part of the assessment, I'll be inspecting and palpating for your precordium or the chest area. And I'll have you to, I'll need you to expose the drape 
one chance after the other. All right, so can I let it drink now? All right, I'll be inspecting for your chest, your your aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and apical areas. All right, first thing I'll be palpating for your keys. So I'll be placing my fingertips obliquely on your sternal border and under the apex. Okay. okay, I'll move down. Alright, alright, so the sun I'll be palpating for thrills or the vibratory sound caused by the turbulent flow on your chest. So I'll be using my the ball of my hand to palpate. Alright, so I haven't found any vibration. This time I'll be palpating for your tricuspid, split, your ticket for moment, alright? Alright, so I've already checked for your impulses. So this time the next impulse will be the optical impulse. I'll be palpating for the optical area. Okay. Using my three fingers. Okay, if I am unable to palpate for any impulses in your optical area, I'll be needing you to uh, move a roll towards your left laterally. All right, can you move? Can you roll towards your left? Yeah. I'll be palpating for your optical impulse. Okay, so if we're still unable to palpate for the optical impulse, I'll be needing you to inhale and exhale fully. And then hold, right? Okay, so you can roll back now to a supine position. I'll be covering you this way. So even if we haven't found any impulses in the optical area, there is no problem. That's still normal. Since it is completely normal not to feel any optical impulses, right? So this time I'll be palpating for the epigastric area now. It's right under the external border. Using three fingers. All right, so I already cut it. I'll be covering you with the tray. All right, so this time I'll be assessing for your heart rate using the diaphragm of my stethoscope and place it on the apex. All right, I'll be assessing for the heart rate and the rhythm. All So your heart rhythm is completely normal or regular. All right, so this time I'll be also in for um, high-pitched sounds on your aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and apical areas. So, All right, can I lift it up great now? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be using now the bell of my telescope for low pitched sounds, alright? I'll be doing the same thing. Okay. Alright, so I'll be repeating the steps earlier, but the sun I'll be needing you to face laterally on your left side. Right? I'll just see you. Okay. Can I remove the drape now? Alright, so. I'll be using the diaphragm of my telescope for high pitched sounds. What I want you to do is to inhale, exhale, and then hold. Right? Okay, relax, inhale, exhale, and hold. Right? Inhale, exhale, and hold. Then inhale, exhale, and hold. All right, so you can relax now. Um, I'll be using the bell this time. All right, let's do the same thing again. Inhale, exhale, and hold. All right, inhale, exhale, and hold. All right, inhale, exhale, and hold. 
Inhale, exhale, and then hold. Okay, you can relax now. I'll get to you for the supine position. Okay. All right, so for the next part of the assessment, I'll be assessing for your peripheral vascular system. This time, I'll be moving from your upper extremities towards your lower extremities. So, um, can I have your arms lying down on the bed? I'll be inspecting for any lesions on the skin, skin discoloration, the symmetry of your arms. All right, so I'll be palpating for temperature. All right, so temperature is skin of the skin is warm to touch. In dependent position of limbs, there is an extension of the veins, and when it's elevated, uh, the veins collapse. All right. So this time I'll be palpating for your ulnar, radial, and brachial pulses. May I remove your watch? All right. I'll be putting your head aside. All right. First, your radial. Right here, ulnar. Then your brachial. Okay. The other side. To your radio. Your ulnar. Your brachial. Okay, so pulses are full and symmetric. I'll also be checking for the capillary refill. Okay. So capillary is less than two seconds, which is normal. All right, so for Alan's test, I'll be needing you to close and open your hands as quickly as you can, all right? So I'll be asking you to close it when I have to, when you have to close it and then open it when you have to open it, all right? So I'll be assisting you to move towards me so that I can reach your other side of your arm. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, this time I'll, I need you to open and close your hands as quickly as you can, okay? Go. Close. All right. I'll be removing the ulnar, then open. All right, so do it again. Open and close as quickly as you can, then close. I'll be occluding both radial and ulnar, then open, and removing the radial pulse, or radial artery. All right, that's it. So I'll be doing the same thing on the other hand. Alright, so now that we're done with the upper extremities, we'll be moving on to the lower extremities, alright? So first, I'll be assessing for your um, peripheral vascular system on your lower extremities, alright? So I'll be observing for any symmetry, for the symmetry of your legs, alright? Your pulse, your skin for any lesions, and also the temperature, skin is warm to touch. I'll be also Checking for your edema, for any edema, I'll be pushing my thumbs area. Right? Alright, so I haven't found any edema, no lesions found, and skin is one to touch. Alright, so in independent position of limbs, um, there is a distension of veins, but when it's elevated, the distension collapses. Alright, so this time I'll be palpating for your pulses. First, your femoral, your popliteal, then your um, dorsalis pedis. And then, lastly, your posterior tibialis, right? So I'll be checking for your femoral pulse now, right? Can I lift this? All right. So next is your puppet your pulse. Can I lift your leg? All right. So I'll be checking for the pulse. All right. So next will be your Posterior tibialis. Right. So next will be your dorsalis pedis. Right. So I'll be palpating for your pulses on the other side as well. All right. So for the last test, I'll be performing Bowman's test. This will be used for checking the deep vein thrombosis. All right. So can I lift the drape now? Okay, so what I'm going to do is to dorsiflex your leg, your foot, to check for your calves, right? And then the other leg, I'll be lifting the drape, 
I'll be dor dorsiflexing your foot and your cogs. All right. I'll be checking for capillary refill. All right, so cap refill is both less than two seconds bilaterally. All right, so I think that's it for our assessment for today. So all your vitals are normal and haven't found anything abnormal related to your cardiovascular system or your cardiovascular health. All right, so if you feel anything unusual later on, you can just um, push the call button for the nurses, all right? So thank you, Ms. Eddie, for being a wonderful patient, and I'll see you around next time, all right? Now that we're done with the assessment, after touching the patient, we have to perform hand washing as an aftercare. And that's it for my cardiovascular system assessment.